hello everyone today i was going through the multi property that we have in the provider angular provider so let's discuss on this today so let's see the code base so here what we have say i have one service animal service right so let me open that animal service and i have another service that is the monkey service which is basically extending animal service so this is the animal service have two variable name and its and two functions one is get name one is get its at in the monkey service which is extending the animal service has one method get food it's returning the its from there so it's returning the same thing which is returning in the animal service right now say if I go to provide section and I, if I provide this to like using this using provide then use class one is animal service one is a monkey service then say in our home component what we will do we will just uh, in the constructor we will create our private variable then we'll just console that let's see what we have here so let's click f12 then we'll see what we have here this is the one we have monkey service right so we don't have the animal service there even though we have written the animal service yeah now let's so it's took the last one right now let's took the example of multi we have provided multi here now let's see what we will get there so here we can see we have the both the service available here right so not it's not overwriting so that is the one use of this <coughs> the another one which is most mostly useful so that is uh, this multi you can use to extend any kind of existing service or directives right so to explain this let me open one file that is one directive I have created to handle the validation. Here I have the validator. Now we'll see. I have written one custom validator here, which is basically implementing validator, which is provided by the Angular forms. Here I'll just write the validate function. There we'll see that if the value is there, and if the value has this text at the rate codestudio.com, that means the email should have studio.com so it's a simple validation that email should be in this domain otherwise it will it will say that custom error is true right now let's go to the register component there and we have a template different from here so here if you see what we have here in the email invalid then we are showing one message like this and if email is uh, email is required basically we are showing this message and if email has error the custom which one we have provided then it will give me that email must be at domain code studio so it so let's see here <coughs> see this one so let us change this now if let's try to fix this issue first so we'll write test fix now now we'll write at the rate code studio.com. You can see it's it's gone. The message it's now working perfectly, right? So we have not written the custom validation in the register component. If you see in the register component, we don't have anything. But what we have here only the directive. We have used this selector there, custom email validator you see we have this one here custom email validator mm. so this one we have used there and based on that we are showing the error message and the trick part is here in the directive provider we have provided this ng validators and we are saying that use existing existing token to be used and this will be the value we are providing here since we are using multi here so uh, with all the validation rules we will be adding this rule also so it's kind of extending the existing validation this is i find uh, i found very useful 
so this multi true is very useful in this type of situations so hopefully it will uh, give you some idea and if you find anything else on the it's uh, useful maybe you can give me that also you can share with me uh, in the comment section you can put that so that i could also look into that thank you